to you live from the Denton Black Film Festival with artist Mercedes Lewis. Good afternoon, Ms. Lewis. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. So what's your connection, your connection to the film festival? So here today I'm with the Urban Chatter um, Arts Film Festival or Urban Chatter event and I'm an artist and I'm, I'm doing mixed media art here so I'm displaying a few pieces here. And how'd you, how'd you find your calling in art? Um, actually ever since I was a kid I started painting and drawing, I was into fashion, I was into anything creative and so um, I actually ended up getting my degree in 3D animation from Savannah College of Art and Design in Atlanta. So. Go SCAD. Yeah, go SCAD. So I see HBC right up the street. There you go. <laughs> so I was always up there, so I thought it was cool you had this podcast and definitely wanted to be part of it. Well, thank you. And so for the benefit of our listeners, can you describe what your creative process is like? Yeah, definitely. Um, usually, whether it be a film or a painting, I like to kind of get inspiration first. So kind of research, um, get pictures or images that kind of inspire me before I begin any project, whether it be, you know, um, Okay, so I've seen uh, your visual uh, canvas art around here, but you mentioned film and commercials as well? Yes, I've done, um, I used to work actually in commercial and film, so um, I did some commercials at Real Effects Radium, um, I did uh, a little bit of film work on my own on independent films, so just short films that I've worked on and collaborated creative direction wise. I also do interior design, so I've done some homes and some salons doing that. So it's anything creative, like I just want to solve problems. Here in the Dallas area? Here or in the, the Dallas okay. area, I actually did um, a home for Antonio Bryant, former Cowboys player, mm -hmm. hairstylist here. Um, so yeah, I've done it. A little bit of everything. <laughs> so you're going to have a, a, a submission here in the, in the film festival next year? You know what? I've actually submitted 48 Hour Film Festival about two years ago, but I'm about to start working on a new project this upcoming uh, for a black film. Um, and it's called Dreamer's Edge. And so there, it's about two characters that have psychic abilities. And so it's going to be a pretty big deal. Um, so that's my new project. I'm actually, black psychics. Yeah, black psychics. So I'm about to go ahead and um, move to Columbia, actually, at the end of the month and just take some time to just research and work on pre-production. So who would you say were your inspirations, you know, you know, starting out getting into this? I would say, honestly, um, just growing up in my household, my mom, she really? um, started out interior designing before she had me, and my grandmother was a seamstress, and so a lot of my family has always been with a little bit of creativity and always supporting like black entrepreneurs. So, um, I've worked in corporate, but I've always been kind of trying to push my own brand because that's the way to build. So. so like the pieces I've seen around here, how long did those take to create? They can take anywhere between like four months to wow. like two years. Um, I have a couple pieces that are going to be displayed at Urban Black Arts Council for a month long exhibition February 9th. And so um, that's coming up. It's a pretty big deal. I have about 10 pieces in that being displayed. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm also right now in an international art competition um, called The Mentality of Evil. And, um, my piece is number three right now in the world. Congratulations. And, yes, so it's based on Instagram uh, votes. So um, this piece is based on Indigo symbols. And uh, these symbols were actually used in African culture of Ghana to tell about the story of someone's life. So I wanted to use uh, the symbols to tell a story about African Americans dying because of systematic oppression, whether that be with the food contamination or the medical treatment or um, different issues that we face as a people. So this piece means a lot to me and all the uh, symbols in there represent uh, like freedom, loyalty, anything that I believe that African Americans are. Now, is, is this piece that you're referring to, is this on MercedesLewis.com? If you go actually to my Instagram, at MercedesLewisArt, um, I do have posts about how to vote, but also if you just go to BOEArtOfficial.com, if you scroll down and okay. find my piece, um, if you like it, it counts as a vote. Okay. Yes, and I also put it on my website, MercedesLewisArt.com. Or so, MercedesLewis.com. So, on, so, and I'm on MercedesLewis.com right now. For, so, for pieces like Freedom or Fury, how do you go about creating those? So, right, 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 yeah, yeah, walk walk yeah. through the process yeah. of that. How, yeah. yeah. So, basically, what happened was um, I was working a job and um, I actually sued the company for just racial profiling and dealing with those issues. So, once I was laid off, I took that six months to really research my history research more about systematic oppressions and the issues that we're facing. And so um, 
with that, I, it kind of fueled my fire to create the pieces, and it's a lot of emotions that come with research on that. So mm -hmm. you could be mad, you could be sad, but I wanted to use the colors to kind of balance my own emotions mm -hmm. while researching. So it's kind of a form of therapy for me. And so, okay, so that's a, a piece like theory and freedom, mm -hmm. and then you also do, uh, you also do, you know, portraits too, you know, yes, Solange yes. and Erica. And so I definitely love black women. I wanted to push it because, you know, there's not that many um, images of us out there, and we need to build those images in our own history. So um, my, my thing I love to do is just black women portraits just to uh, not only educate people about the people, but um, just to show my passion. So I've done a piece about Augusta Savage, and so she was a black woman who faced the somatic oppression um, and actually was denied a residency simply because they didn't want to live with her because she was black. So she started a studio in Harlem and started teaching black people, you know, how to paint. But I think putting that image out there helps educate people because we don't see those images on a day to day. So between like mixed media and painting and film and film, what would you say is your is, is your go to when you're just you know inspired and want to you know get some down? What's what, what's your go to medium? I would say you know if I have a lot of emotions, I really do enjoy to paint just to get it out there. But anything creative, I think I just want to create every single day, whether that be a design or an outfit or. Just anything, a meal. Like mm -hmm. I think even cooking is oh, creative. Yeah. So I, I mean, if I can't paint some days, I'm gonna make a good meal one day and like take my time to create. Who would you say are some of your favorite artists, past or present? Uh, I would say I would definitely say Augusta Savage is one of my favorites, just because um, she's so talented. She did a lot of sculpture and um, just being proactive in the community in New York and trying to build up other people to learn art. It's just like. Her stuff is so amazing and realistic. So. And so one more time for our listeners, can you uh, plug again where they can go and find and yeah. view and possibly buy yes, your work? Yes, definitely. If you go to MercedesLeaves.com, I have a link to my shop. You can buy there. I also sell some home interiors there as well. So if you go online, just go to MercedesLeaves.com um, and then click shop and I'll have my work. And that's Lewis, that's an L-E-W-I-S. Yep, Mercedes like the car and then Lewis.com. All right, well, thank you for joining us today, and best of best of success to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for having me. All right. Mm -hmm.